22-year-old Maria del Rosario Saravia comes to wait at this dock every day for news of her mother, two brothers, and four-year-old son. Since she lost touch with them a week ago, when the Category 5 Hurricane Otis struck the Mexican city of Acapulco. Apparently, they stayed there on the boat at 11.40 p.m. I spoke to my mother, and she told me that they were fine. Then I couldn't communicate with her anymore. I lost signal. I can't communicate with her anymore. To this day, I have not been able to communicate with any of them. It was the last day I saw them, and I hope to see them again soon. She says her mother, younger brother, and son were with her father, a fisherman, on his boat when the storm hit. Her elder brother, a boat captain, was on a separate boat, which has been missing since the storm. Saravia says her relatives were ordered by their bosses to look after the boats through the storm. Her father is the only one she has seen since. They sank over there. My father was shipwrecked all night, but he doesn't know where my mother, my brother and my baby are. He says they were with him, but the pressure of the water and the force of the air took them away. So we have been here since the first day looking for them, but we haven't heard from any of them. Nor have we had any support from any authority, government or my father's employer. Authorities say Otis was the most powerful storm to ever strike Mexico's Pacific coast. The record-breaking storm ripped apart homes and businesses and left the nearly 900,000 residents of Acapulco in the dark. At least 50 people were killed in the storm, and there is fear more bodies were swept out to sea, with the search effort ongoing. Help, divers, please help, the sign reads. Acapulco authorities have given few details on the dead and injured, but the state government says dozens are still missing. It's not clear if Saravia's family members are included in the tally. Mexico's government on Wednesday announced a $3.4 billion recovery plan for the battered city. But as many Acapulco residents begin to rebuild, Saravia says she will remain camped at the dock until she has answers. We'll be here until we found our relatives. I can't say tomorrow we won't come because we don't know when we will find them. We'll be here until we find them.